Alberta Milk, as a dairy industry proactive leader, undertook the development of an industry-driven Alberta Yoni's Disease Initiative. The Alberta Yoni's Disease Initiative is driven by producers. It was designed to meet the needs of the Alberta dairy industry. It is based on the Canadian Yoni's Disease Initiative that has been created. It is administered by the University of Calgary Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and it's endorsed by Alberta Milk. The Alberta Initiative is a voluntary program that adds several management strategies to the existing practice of testing and culling infected animals. It's important to note that eradication is not the main focus of this program. That may happen if the program uh, continues over a number of years, but the focus is more on decreasing the spread of Yoni's disease, uh, reducing its prevalence across the province of Alberta, and also implementing best management practices. The initiative offers suggestions on ways to help reduce and perhaps with time eliminate the spread of the disease. Through the program that Alberta Milk is introducing, there's, there's uh, also a management plan that would give you a lot of helpful hints on how to maybe do something slightly different than you have in the past. Under the initiative, volunteer dairy producers will work with their on-farm veterinarian to conduct a risk assessment of their current management practices and develop a plan to lower the prevalence of the disease. And there's lots of work now out of the states that indicates that unless you incorporate changes in management, on the farm as part of the overall control and eradication program for Yonis, you're not going to make any progress at all. A strong supporter of the Alberta Yonis Disease Initiative, Dr. Gerald Aulis, retired Alberta Chief Provincial Veterinarian, explains why this disease is so difficult to eradicate. 95% of animals that are infected will never show clinical signs and so the only way to detect them would be with a, with a diagnostic test. And our diagnostic tests are only effective in detecting these animals at certain stages of the infection. In other words, if the antibodies don't exist in the infected animal, the diagnostic test won't detect the disease. Dr. Aulis goes on to identify the farm veterinarian's role in educating farmers about Yoni's disease. Well, I see my role as encouraging producers, A, not to take the easy route with a magic bullet, which isn't going to work, to maybe take a look in at the management on the farm and, and make some difficult decisions about what I could do as a producer to really reduce the, the key factors on my farm that, are, that potentially create a risk for me to, to either introduce the disease or if I've already got it, spread it. There are several simple and effective ways to reduce the spread of the disease throughout your herd, including sanitizing bottles and nipples between each feeding and ensuring no cow manure comes in contact with the calves. Well, we also feed uh, all of our calves with individual bottles. We raise them in individual hutches. They're completely removed from the dairy cows or any contamination possibilities from manure. This initiative not only benefits industry by lowering on-farm production costs associated with reduced animal productivity caused by Yonis, but it will also show consumers that Alberta dairy producers are being proactive in seeking ways to eradicate the disease over time. And I think it would be more harmful in the consumer's eyes if we didn't do anything about it. I think the more important thing is that we, we identify issues like this and that we do something about it. And I think that would give the consumer a lot more confidence that, that we are concerned and that we are working on it and, and actually trying to make a difference. The Alberta Livestock and Meat Agency, or ELMA, is a proud supporter of this initiative. ELMA's funding actually gave Alberta Milk the boost it needed to develop a Yoni's disease program for Alberta dairy farmers. With a grant of $351,000 from ELMA, Alberta Milk, together with farm veterinarians and volunteer dairy producers, can work towards reducing the negative impact Yoni's disease has on Alberta's dairy industry.